Today is Thursday, November 14th. Good morning from the Civic Media News Desk. I'm Joanne Krulotz. A Viola man has died in a construction-related incident. Vernon County Sheriff Roy Torgerson reports that Tuesday morning at approximately 11 o'clock, the Sheriff's Office 911 Dispatch Center was notified of a construction site accident on Shonagle Lane, rural Chaseburg, in the town of Harmony. A construction contractor was using an all-terrain telescopic handler while installing siding on a new home. David Hibbert Road Puig, 39, of rural Viola, was seriously injured when caught between the unit and an exterior wall. First responders with the Genoa Harmony Fire Department were sent to the construction site until 911 dispatchers learned that the injured was being transported to the Stoddard Bergen Fire Station in the village of Stoddard by private vehicle to meet EMS. Upon arrival, the first responders were standing by and Gunderson Tri-State Ambulance had also responded. After extended life-saving efforts by emergency personnel were exhausted, David Hibbard Road Puig was pronounced dead by Vernon County Coroner Betty Nye. The incident remains under investigation by the Vernon County Sheriff's Office, Vernon County Coroner's Office, and the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. A longtime advocate for diabetes research and her husband were among the victims in a fiery crash that left five dead earlier this month in Dane County. A diabetes advocacy group identified the victims as Jeff and Michelle Bauer of Crandon, Josh and Tammy Stahl of Minnesota, and Barry Sievers of Belleville. They were all active in a charitable bike ride that raises money for research. Michelle was well known in Madison and around the state as a longtime advocate for diabetes research after her son was diagnosed in 2000 when he was three. He died 10 years later. The cause of the accident remains under investigation. It happened the night of November 1st when their Tesla went off the road, struck a tree and burst into flames. Republican U.S. Senate candidate Eric Hovde says he'd lost the election. The statement comes a day after Hovde released a video questioning the integrity of last week's election. Speaking on WISN Radio Wednesday, Hovde admitted to losing the election, but did not concede to incumbent Democrat Tammy Baldwin. He'll have until the end of next week to request a recount once the official canvassing is done. Wisconsin Senate Minority Leader Diane Hesselbein says Havde should just concede and stop playing games. The first electric charging stations are going online at Quick Trip. The company announced Wednesday that a set of chargers has been installed in West Salem and that the system will run off a new app called Quick Charge. The stations will offer plugs for both major vehicle standards and can charge at 150 kilowatts. The effort matches a push for expanded electric vehicle service in Wisconsin, which has seen fewer charging installations than other states. That makes it hard to travel to rural parts of the state. Holidays are a busy time for travel, gathering with family and friends, and getting sick. Vaccines are safe, effective, and the best way to stay healthy. Wisconsin Department of Health Services data show only 22% of Wisconsinites have received a flu shot this season and just 11% have received an updated COVID-19 vaccine. With flu, RSV, and COVID-19 cases starting to rise, now is the time to get a vaccine. DHS and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommend the following respiratory vaccines. Flu for everyone six months and older, COVID-19 for everyone six months and older, people 65 years and older and those who are moderately or severely immunocompromised are recommended to receive a second dose of the updated COVID-19 vaccine six months after the first dose. RSV for pregnant people, young children under nine months and adults 75 years and older, young children ages 9 to 19 months and adults ages 60 to 74 with increased risk of RSV are also encouraged to get immunized. To find and schedule a vaccine, you are encouraged to check with your primary care provider, local or tribal health department, community clinic, or visit vaccines.gov. Wisconsinites can also call 211 or 877-947-2211 for help scheduling a vaccine appointment. 
If they do not have health insurance or their health insurance does not cover vaccines, there are programs that can help, including the Vaccines for Children program and Vaccines for Adults program. Viterbo University announced another round of cuts, this time affecting 13 people. Nine faculty will not have their contracts renewed after next spring, while four staff members will be let go after December 6th. The Turbo official said that declining enrollment means they don't need as many employees. Enrollment has fallen by about a quarter in the past five years. In June, Viterbo cut 25 positions as the university faced a $5.5 million budget deficit. Viterbo officials said they will need to make more cuts by 2026. A Richland County resident was arrested for possession of child pornography Wednesday morning. The Richland County Sheriff's Office was assigned a cyber tip as an affiliated member of the Wisconsin Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force for the reported possession. Wednesday morning around 845, deputies completed a search warrant as a result. Deputies took into custody Scott Warren File, 28 of Sextonville, for 10 counts of possession of child pornography and one count of felony bail jumping. Scott File currently has a diversion agreement through Richland County for similar reported acts in 2021. The Richland County Sheriff's Office was assisted in this investigation by Wisconsin ICAC Task Force, Wisconsin Department of Criminal Investigation, Digital Evidence Unit, Richland Center Police Department, and Lone Rock EMS. A subject who fled from the Wisconsin State Patrol on I-9094 outside Toma was arrested by the Monroe County Sheriff's Department Tuesday afternoon at approximately 1 o'clock. The Wisconsin State Patrol attempted to stop a vehicle on I-9094 westbound in Juneau County. The vehicle fled at a high rate of speed and Wisconsin State Patrol terminated the pursuit for safety reasons. Monroe County Sheriff's Office and Wisconsin State Patrol located the vehicle in Monroe County and the vehicle fled again, eventually coming to a rest in the ditch of I-94 between County Highway ET and Industrial Avenue. The driver, Demetrius L. Johnson, 39 of Racine, fled on foot into a wooded area west of I-94. Johnson was wanted by the Wisconsin Department of Corrections and was noted to have violent tendencies. Additional law enforcement resources from Wisconsin State Patrol, Monroe County Sheriff's Office, and Toma Police Department responded to the area and searched for Johnson. At approximately 5.30, a Monroe County Sheriff's Office sergeant saw Johnson walking on County Highway ET on the east side of the city limits of Toma. Johnson fled northbound on a snowmobile trail. Additional resources responded and established a perimeter before searching for Johnson again. At approximately 8.30, Johnson was located by a drone team from the Fort McCoy Fire Department and was arrested by Monroe County Sheriff's Office a short time later after being apprehended by a canine. Johnson was medically treated on scene before being taken to the Monroe County Jail by Wisconsin State Patrol. A Red Cross blood drive was held in Richland Center yesterday. It's reported that 85 donors gave blood. There were 12 deferrals. 